next in the tank, an online innovator hoping for a shark to take a bet on his business. Hi Sharks, my name is Michael and I'm the co-founder and CEO of BetSwaps.com, the world's first sports tipping marketplace. I'm here today seeking a $200,000 investment in return for a 10% stake in the company. I want you to imagine it's Melbourne Cup Day. You might not be much of a punter, but you're heading to the races and you want to have a bet. You don't want to just pick horses at random, so what could you do? You would head over to BetSwaps.com where you could navigate to our leaderboard and filter by horse racing, which allows you to compare our top horse racing tipsters side by side. You can easily see their win-loss record, the profit they've made, and the return on investment you would have seen following their tips. You can then see who has tips available for sale and securely purchase these tips and receive them instantly. This allows you to bet like an expert and increase your chances of winning on the day. It's not just horse racing we cover, but more than 40 different sports and over 100,000 different betting markets. So Sharks, who wants to back a winner and join the BetSwaps team today? Yeah, sorry, Michael, I'm Stephen. Yeah. How are you doing? Yeah, Where, whereabouts are you from? I'm from South Australia. Oh, good stuff. Adelaide or? Yeah, Adelaide. Yeah, nice. I, I was determined to hate this when I saw the uh, when, I, when I saw that up there because I, I've got a real issue with the way that we've actually taken on, especially digital gambling in this country. So I don't like it at all. But this isn't that. This is tipping. Yeah, it's tipping. There's there's no betting. We are not a bookmaker at all. So this is in fact selling tips and then they go off to somewhere else and bet. Yes. So you're selling information. Yeah, exactly. Okay, great. Why wouldn't the existing players in the marketplace, which are the online players, yep. why don't they just do this as a side thing? So that, that's a good point, but the mentality for sports bettors and tippers is, is kind of an us first them competition thing. So if a bookmaker started this up, I think there would be that little bit of a thing in the back well, of the mind. Well, there's a conflict of interest. Yeah, it's a conflict of interest. You're supposedly helping people win, but you're making money when... Bookmakers have a terrible reputation for the way they treat their customers. It, it's yeah. really quite adversarial. Michael, how old are you? I'm 24. So you're valuing your new business at a two million bucks? Yes, that's correct. That's an interesting number. The way I look at it is we've made $100,000 in revenue this year. Oh, okay, so that's, you actually made 100K free and clear. Is 100K yep. all tip selling or is there affiliate advertising revenue yeah, in there so, as well? so we actually work very closely with all of Australia's betting companies. A lot of our revenue stream actually comes from advertising through those guys. We advertise their, their promotions, their bonuses, their markets they offer, their kind of unique quirks that they all offer to try and gain market share. And in return, we made $25,000 last month alone. Michael, yes. I'm really excited. Thanks. You're a tipster? Yeah. Tell me what the forecasts are or your, or your bet on next year in terms of your revenue stream. But at the end of the day, what is going to be your take home pay? So we're forecast for a million dollars in revenue next year. And One that... million dollars yep. in revenue? All right, mate. I'm in. 200 grand, 35%. Thank you for that offer. I'd like to say I'm stuck pretty firmly at 10%. <laughs> You're going to be losing today, then. 35% <laughs> is, is just a bit high. Oh, that was a quick no. Hey. You've got a good start somewhere, haven't you? Michael, you've got to remember, though, your business, you haven't really made the profit to value the... I know that there's a, a potential of actually scaling it to incredible heights, but it's potential. It's blue sky. It's, it's not reality. So I'm out. Thank you. Anyone else got anything to add? Yes, I'm giving you 200,000 for 30%. I don't get the valuation at 2 million, but I, I would bet 200,000 on you at 30% because I think I'd bring a lot of value and save you a lot of money in shortcuts in getting there. I was involved in a website that, that got to a, a billion and sixty dollars in seven years online but there's a lot of traps on the way. So, uh, you know, um, slightly better than Steve's offer, but you won't get me at 10%.
really like what you're doing, but I also know that there is going to be um, bumps in the road. It's not going to be as smooth sailing as you think. Um, there is definitely going to be setbacks. So I know what I can bring to the party in terms of growing your business. I'm going to offer you 200,000, but knowing the value I will bring to your business, it's for 20% of your business. Thank you, that's a great offer. So it's pretty simple, Michael. What you have is you're a numbers man, you're a spreadsheet man. I've met plenty of people like you who are passionate, they're focused, they absolutely know the area they're playing in. 200,000, 15%. Oh, come on, now. <laughs> That's cheap. I bring more value in terms of infrastructure. There's a couple of young guys that live in Melbourne. Yep. They have the largest global trading platform for international currency. I'd like to introduce you to them. I'm the only one that's grown a website that was worth a billion dollars in the US, number one in its space. And I'm currently involved in a learning website that has 1.3 billion downloads. I'll just throw that in. You've got three sharks that want to get involved with you. Do you have a preference of who you'd like to go with? Michael Timms has stirred up a frenzy in the tank with his online sports tipping business. Steve's offer of 35% was rejected outright, but Michael still has three sharks in play. Michael, let me give you a summary of what's on the table. You have Andrew is 200,000 for 30%, Naomi's 200,000 for 20%, Glenn is 200,000 for 15%. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll even things up. I'll, I'll come back in at a, uh, I'm gonna come back. I'll, I'll reduce one. I think I do bring a lot to this. I've got numerous investments. I've got investments in the US, not to the scale Andy's got, but you know we're in, we're, in, we're very much in digital spaces as well. So I'm willing to I'm willing to bring myself back down to, to Andy's level. That sounds wrong, doesn't it? To, to Andy's <laughs> to Andy's amount. No, no disrespect intended. To to to, to 30 percent. So you, you got two at 30 there. 30 percent is just too high. I can tell you right now that we're not going to reach that number. 30 percent is just just too high. Gee, he wants us, Andy. What's your counter offer? <laughs> Look, I'm going to hold firm close to 10%. That's not much of a negotiation. <laughs> Michael, it's not dumb money you're getting. We're talking the execution risk that we're pricing in with our offers. We're not pricing in in three years. We're pricing in today and maybe a little bit in the future. But we have to price today because you might, you might balls it up tomorrow. Michael, you need to make a call. All right, um, I'll take a bit of a, a punt and just put it out there. Anyone going to come down to 10% and we can do a deal right now and get in early for 200,000. Anybody like to take bets on what I'm <laughs> going to say next? <laughs> if you were five months down the track and had generated $500,000, but you're just too early. I like to say we've only just started looking to raise money now and since we've put out the word only two weeks ago that we're looking for money, we've had so much interest come in. So are you saying you've actually got other investors out there on the hook ready to go? Yes. They're knocking out the door waiting for the house to be built. I'll flick the 15, mate. Wow, that's a massive drop. <laughs> Steve and Glenn, would you be willing to work together? Yes, we would be. So. Good Queensland backing for an Adelaide boy. Absolutely. Beautiful. Let's do it. Okay, well done. Beautiful. Thanks, Mike. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello, Michael. Well done, Michael. Well very pitched. impressive. I have Thank to you very much. Partner, another Thank deal done. You. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Sorry, Andrew. Hey, you know, he didn't want to go to the US. It's OK. Didn't even imagine that two would be interested, yet alone getting two on board. So yeah, really, really stoked. Do you think you've picked the right sharks? I do. I came in really wanting to get Steve, and Glenn really sold me on his value add to the business. Good luck to him. He's a good lad. And I have to say, at 24 is remarkable. I wish I could come up with an idea like that at 24. <laughs>